Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to Lightyear Frontier, shall we? Picking up where we left off, and we're just getting rid of these weeds. Now, what we're trying to do is get that number all the way up to 100%. But truthfully, the game usually gives you credit for purging an area at 95-96%. So just get it close. And this friendly game says, good enough. We're back in the meadows, though, so that's not where we want to be. We need to go right back over here. Pick up that guy. And we can't feed this yet until we get it clean. And oh, look at this. Just jumping off. Remember, there's no fall damage on your mech, so... Just jump, and as long as you can land... Now, there's a cave for us to explore, but won't be really profitable until we finish our work here. Now, falling down into that area is going to be a different zone. So let's just keep sweeping around here, looking for those weeds. We see the shimmer. We know they're hiding. We won't be denied. Come on, where are you? Uh, we will be denied down here, but that's okay. Alright. Now what? Weeds? Where are you? I need ya. Do-do-do. And now we're in Stepstone Peak, which is good because we trigger the milestone there for purging or restoring that area but not good because that means we've left the one we're focusing on here's a weed now here's the artifacts oh, yeah, the ruins. yeah there's a bunch of them littered around the planet never did figure out who left them i tried scanning them with all my instruments over and over got nothing to show for it feel free to scrutinize them Maybe you'll spot something I missed. Okay. So, let's go up here. And that's the meadows. So we're going to keep it to the... Ooh, I think I see a bunch over here. Oh my goodness, let's go for it. Run. Full speed. We only need a few. Sometimes when you're at the end, it's hard to find that last patch. 94. Almost there. Here it is. Now you see 90, yep, and then immediately 100%. So what's cool about that is... That's one more for the count. Great job. I knew this planet had more beauty to uncover. Indeed. It just needed a little TLC is all. If my long-range transmitter hadn't broken ages ago, I'd send Earth one final report. Told you so. Plus maybe a few choice words you don't need to hear. Whoa. Sassy. So you still can't feed this until the next day. Remember, you can't um, benefit from anything that has been done with the restoration. It takes a day. But check this out. If I go to the world map, you could see it's filled in. And we could see in the edge cliffs, it actually does provide coal and um, red color flower. Now, I'm guessing... You know, I used to think that the question marks meant you have to discover it in that area. But I think it just means resources that you have personally discovered. Because we haven't gotten any coal in the edge cliffs, but now we know that there is some in here. And that only became available because we've discovered polyberry, aluminum, coal, and blue color flowers else, uh, in other areas, for example, to know. But what's nice is, you see how it's night? It's about to be day. So you can look in the top right at the time wheel. And once that goes today, in just a few moments, then this whole area will come to life with the resources. So we can just kind of stay out here and bring stuff. In fact, I'm going to go down here to this really nice copper area. So this, you can look at this, even though there's nothing here, if I get close to it, you see how it says copper deposit. So this is a copper place. There's copper here, here. Some of this might be coal, but it's mostly copper. It actually might all be copper. Let's look. 
copper, copper. Yeah, this is the like the place to come for copper. Now I wish they would do this because they haven't yet. But you can't really mark on the map unless there's a technology I just don't have unlocked. You can't put a pin um, on the map where things are. So you kind of have to just remember that down here at this switchback trail that leads into uh, the zone to the south of us. Actually, let's just get that mapped in while we're here. Well, it's the lowland plains. The little path that leads into the lowland plains is what we're looking for. And it's just about to here it comes. Wonderful. So now you can see that the door is going to get another purple arrow because we have restored another area. Got four left. And the crops you can see. Now this is a little bit dangerous because if there's an attack on our farm, we aren't there to defend it. We'd have to run back. But now look at this. Wakey, wakey, they all popped. The that region yesterday felt right. Maybe there were some more good to be done here. Keep a lookout, will ya? So you can see in the upper right, copper ore. Flower press, copper wire, grinder. All of this stuff has become available. Now my inventory is full. Um, so I'm going to have to drop some stuff that I don't want to carry. Oh boy. I don't really want to drop too much. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this stack. And I'm going to just drop 17 of that softwood. Now that seems pretty disastrous, but you don't really need softwood that much. At least right now, for functional stuff. But copper we need, and we need a lot of it. We're always going to be coming back here trying to get copper. Now you can pick it up and just go over encumbered, which is where we are. So now we know that copper is a region, and, um, a resource in this region, and let's get the final one. Look at this. You see these guys? These are carrots. So now we can get carrot seeds. So the edge cliffs provide copper and carrot. Those are the main ones. It does provide red color flower and coal, but I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I never get coal from here. Um, and I don't even rightly know the exact location of it. It might be hidden away somewhere. I mainly get coal uh, in the upper area. But the merchant is here. Ah, uh, that looks like... Yep, it's a fossil. Somebody get out. Now this is the kind of thing that we can take, the bug fossil, and sell to the merchant if we wish. I'm just going to shoot it at our mech there. Yeah, I'm just going to get in whenever it allows me to. There you go. Sometimes the indicator on the button icon doesn't show. Just hold X if you're using a controller like I am, and you'll get in there. As long as you're close enough. Okay. So now we're coming out of the edge cliffs, and where's our house? It's right over there. I can't jump or run because I'm carrying too much, and that's okay. So the meadows, we've discovered four out of four resources. Here we go, the merchant is still here. Now I'm going to actually use the merchant this time. I always disparage or downplay the importance of the merchant, but I want them because... Let me go over here. Let me drop some stuff off. We got to do a bunch of farming as well. Uh, we should have time. Yeah, we have time to get there but to put some stuff away. I'm just going to dump in this aluminum, this softwood, this copper. I don't need to carry it. I can only put a little bit of copper in, but anyway, let's go over here. 
because what I want to do is... Beep, beep, beep. Hola, I want to sell. So we're going to sell this bug fossil. For 200. And then I'm going to now go to resources and I'm going to buy carrot seeds because... Oh, darn. Okay, it takes a full day. So I discovered them today. So she will have them on her inventory tomorrow. Okay, so I can't buy them yet. Fair enough. All right. Well, let's just do some farming. We've got a bunch of ravage, which is great. We want more. And now we can plant carrot. Now, of course, I can just go get more carrot seeds, and I probably will to go get more copper and such, but I want to get as much as I can in the ground, get all these weeds out of here. Now, what appears to be cool, and I don't know how long this lasts exactly, but you see these areas were watered where there was no crops, so they retained the water. So I can just use this to plant seeds that I don't need to water today, so that's very friendly. Me neither. Wait to see it grow up. Uh huh. I know your feelings. Now these are all ravages, by the way, so we're gonna have a ton, which is exactly what we want. As many as we can, and then we'll plant. Um, oh, I didn't plant the carrot seeds. That was what I meant to do first. That's embarrassing. Okay. Oh, no, these aren't all rabbit seeds. Some of them are, some of them are not. Oh, boy. I'm off the mark on my farming today. That keep it good until tomorrow. But the good thing is, we're done now. It's all in there. Up, now we're going to have to go get a refill, and that's A-OK. -okay. So we need red crystal dust and ravage oil for the irrigation hose power. Now, remember I pinned red crystal dust, but we can't even make it, but now we can. We can make the grinder, which is the facility that allows us to create red crystal dust. And dust of all kinds. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to go to the oil presser, and we're just going to crank out Ravage Oil in both of these as much as we can. We need it. Then we're going to go and... Uh, do I have what I need to build this? Mm, I need some more Noxious Spore. That's fine. So I'm going to push Circle, and we now can build the Flower Press and the Grinder. The Grinder is the one we want to build. Now, the grinder, you can't build it in a shed, obviously. It doesn't benefit from efficiency bonus. You can't link it. It's just an outdoor kind of guy. But you build it here. And I actually, um, I like having more than one. I need to, unfortunately, um, use my spike saw to get this guy out of the way. I want to have them right next to each other. All of these things, uh, free mode, please. It's blocked. Oh, maybe I can't have it right next. Well, that's close enough. Oh, you know what it is. It's being blocked by the top part. I'm like looking only at the base. You can see how the rotation has prevented it, but now there it goes. Okay. So I'm gonna try to build a grinder. I have all the aluminum. I just need some more stone, but we also need copper wire. Now I start with two, but you can build as many as you want. Now we can go here, and we can build copper wire from the copper that we got. So I'm going to build as much as I can. And now we have copper wire. We come over here, and we can um, get that in there. And get that in there. And now we need some stone, and I might as well pick up some aluminum while I'm down here. You can't have too much. Awesome. Okay, so here's stone. Mm 
We got a bunch now. Now, sometimes the rat scallions, you can actually um, feed them with the mech. Like, if you get, if you don't run and jump, you kind of slowly get close, but not too close, you could still get credit for feeding them, even in the mech. Okay, let's finish this guy. And we can finish this guy. And then we're going to go into this grinder by pushing X and I'm going to make red crystal dust. So I'm going to just queue this up. And in this one, I'm going to queue up the noxious spore. Now you make this out of the noxious pods. So this allows you to, the grinder allows you to process red crystal dust, stone dust, and noxious spores. Stone dust is used for making clay um, and the dust you, is used for making lenses later. Now, this is looking really good, but I need to water the rest of my crops before the day ends, or I will be sad. Alright, looks good. Is there Are there even any seeds there? I can't tell. I'm just going to water it. Okay. So now that's happening. And we're getting the good stuff. Now, what we can do is go over. I don't have these yet, but I'll soon have enough. Let's build some decorations to get level 2. We can also build the weather station, um, which does require the 10 softwood that we have to show the upcoming weather, if you're interested. And we can go and try to build some other decorations. Fences do count, by the way. This little cool flower bed counts, so we can put this next to our house. There we go. And let's see, what else do we want? Um, do I have a campfire? I do. I've got all these random torches and things, too. It's kind of funny. But you could start, if you want, you could start building, you know, fence around the area. Mark your territory. So we could go, like, right here. And then with fence, you can kind of just drag it. And as long as it's connected... No, it doesn't want me to build it right there. Um, here, let me try that again. There, if you turn it... I had it on free mode. If you turn it back to snap mode, it's pretty simple. This lets us just... We can trace the perimeter. Now, we don't have enough stone to make this, but I can make some of it. And then what you can see is... Um, the comfort has gone up just a little bit. Now I'm going to run over here. I'm going to turn on my light. And I should have... Okay, I have red crystal and I have noxious spore. Fantastic. So now we have enough noxious spore. We could come over here and we can just do this. Finish that up. And you see we're almost there. Really all we need to do to get to a higher level of coziness is just get some stone and finish our fence. You can make it out of the soft wood, by the way. You see how a lot of the decorations, you can make that lattice fence. You'd have to do some experimenting, but my my guess is the higher level fence you make down that list, the more coziness that it provides, but I'm not sure about that. It could be that any fence is any fence. And also, here, let's go over here and check. Um, it also could be the case. Nope, each little piece of defense that I'm building is counting. I don't know if there is diminishing returns um, for the same type of decoration yet, but we are at level 2. Now, you can't exceed level 2 with this house, but we can get there and just kind of build that up. And now, we, when we rest, which we'll do right now, we're going to get a new benefit. Animal Friend. So this is going to be really useful for us. Morning. Hope you had a good night's sleep. 
Let's see what we can do now that we got a new building on the farm. Let's see. Um, it's raining, which is tremendous. And we're going to vacuum up this ravage. And then we can plant uh, some ravage. And that's just great proof one for one on the seeds right there. So once you have enough, you will be in business for that. Okay, so overnight, these guys were working, and we can go pick up the red crystal dust and um, the rest of the noxious spore. Now, I'm going to just keep making as much red crystal dust as I can, get that going. And if there's any noxious spore left, I'll just queue up as much as I've got. Fantastic. Now I'm going to go here. We need to do two things at the upgrade depot. We want to actually upgrade our irrigation hose power, bam, so we can get stronger slime away. But now we could start queuing up other things uh, like this, vacuum harvester power. So we could create a mission for this that we know that we have the ingredients for. Uh, Pathmaker, we actually can make this now. I believe we can make aluminum electronics once we get carrot oil. Um... This we can make as well. I'll show you. This we can make. You don't have to be this dirty with your your screen. I'm going to be polluting it with so many different upgrades. But I want to put all this on here. Because it helps um, give me a guide for where I can go. And what resources I want to prioritize when I'm out collecting. Alright, we're going to get in the mech. They want us to build a flower press. That's part of the quest. We can do that. I'm going to start putting stuff away that I don't need to carry, which is basically everything. Remember, I just pretty much keep food and seeds in my inventory. It doesn't weigh hardly anything, but I want to get more copper. So we're going to go to... I'll show you on the map. We're going to be going back to the edge cliffs. And if you mouse over it, you can see that the animals in the upper left, it says they want the nice fodder. So that's what we're looking for. So we need to make nice fodder, but it requires polyberry oil, which we've run out of. So I'm going to make a bunch like this. And then I'll make ravage oil over here. And um, I don't really need the merchant at the moment because how much water do I have? I need to go get some water. I don't need the merchant because I'm not going to buy the carrot seeds now. I have enough. I have zero on me, you might say, but I'm going to be heading to the edge cliffs right now, so we're just going to pick up carrot seeds for free. It is, though, potentially worth our while. Here we go. Pick up these. Um, and this. Let me go in here. Is there anything I want to sell that I've got in one of these boxes? It doesn't look like it. Okay. But I'll see if she's got anything for sale. Come on up and take a look. She has a left arrow sign, which I will buy. Nice uh, she has a vintage windshield, which I'm just going to be Deal. greedy and buy that. And I will buy some wheat. Deal. Nine. It's so cheap, and I can make a, uh, a whole field of it while it's raining. So, whatever. Fine. All right, I've now got all my seeds planted that I was carrying, and I'm going to head over to the edge cliffs. So edge cliffs, by the way, um, you can mark it just to remind yourself where you're going. I always kind of kind of come down here and then go up this little path. The flower press is a thing that, you know, they want us to find the color flower and then they want us to make the press. And it's nice because it allows you to make paint so that you can change the color of your mech. But it's not an imperative I have right now. I'm, there's the carrot seeds, by the way. You see we got extra because of our perk. In the bottom right, you can see we have two perks active. So this is what I'm talking about. There's carrot seeds just everywhere. Now, a lot of this copper will not have repopped uh, re because we didn't feed any animals, but we can get what's here.
We need copper wire for all of these upgrades. You're going to need a ton of copper for a long time. So you're going to be coming out here a lot. Now, my softwood actually did not despawn. That's a good point that I should mention. I've heard horror stories from other players that they left a bunch of stuff on the ground and it despawns. It does, if it's not in your backpack, it does despawn pretty quickly. I don't mess with it. I always pick everything up. But you have to be careful. Now, it, stuff that, like, was crafting in your stations at your base overnight, I haven't really had that despawn unless I just refuse to pick it up. But if you leave something in the field and you don't come back for it, or if you log out, I think it might be gone. I don't know if they're, they have changed that, but um, that is how it is. Now, it's unfortunate. Some games do that differently, but in my experience, many games do that because it's too much of a drag on the system resources for the game. If uh, Now, here's a little copper note up here. If these resources are left out, it's too hard to keep track of them all, so they despawn them to keep the performance high. Okay, now I'm going to get a color flower for the quest. We got it! I think you actually have to break it with your saw to get credit. If you pull it out, I think you get the seed. Now these are animals right here, these little guys that you can feed. I just unfortunately don't have what they want. But I'm going to go back into the edge cliffs just a bit because uh, what I would like is to try to find some more carrots. Now, you do remember that we saw some relic areas, some ruins in this area with the artifacts. You can come back here and get those, of course, if you want. Here's another copper area. This is what I want right now is copper and carrots. And this is also copper. Carrots are generally pretty easy. There we go. There's some more down here. Now you see there's some nasty slime over there. And even though we have upgraded our hose, it's always worth your while to just run over here and test. In Stepstone Peak, is my hose strong enough to destroy this? And it is. So we could actually um, restore some of Stepstone Peak. However, you see that Stepstone Peak also has some weeds, it appears. Is my harvester strong enough? It is. Okay. So Stepstone Peak, make a mental note. We could come here and restore it. Our tools are upgraded enough. So some places you go, you just won't have the technology yet, and you have to come back. By the way, this little area right here, you see that um, this pond rock... Oh, we can break it. Okay. If we break it back away, it'll fill up this area with water. Now, besides looking cool, those are usually intentionally placed to be functional so that you have a place to refill water conveniently, like, for example, purifying that area that we were just at. So if you see those little rocks that appear that they're blocking a geyser or something, you can break that to kind of restore a pond in that spot. Now, I'm going to head home because I've got a lot of cool stuff. It's evening. I do want to come back to the edge cliffs tomorrow, get more copper, but also what I want to do is feed the animals. Oh, here's some uh, petrified eggs. We can get this to sell to the merchant. Buy some really, really nice drippy mech parts. Okay. So now we can come back here, pick up our oil, etc. And look at what we need. We need copper wire for everything, so I'm just going to go to the assembler. We can make the power core. The power core that we need for one of the upgrades is noxious spore, so I just click it. And then copper wire, I'm going to make as much as I can. 
And then now this is how you can make aluminum electronics. You take copper wire and aluminum rod, and aluminum parts are just aluminum and polyberry oil. So we've got what we need for that. I'm just going to go ahead and do this, and I'm going to keep this going. Okay. So, is there anything that we can make? Not yet. We need carrot oil. But we're really, really rocking. Uh, they want us to build the flower press, so let's just do that to get that off our screen. It's over here in the gears tab, and it is... That's the color mixer, but this is the flower press. Now, it's about time for us to build another shed, so we can do that over here. We want to put this in a shed, like maybe right there. And then we can go here, and we can put a shed, and you can build it right on top. The game is pretty cool about it, like that. Um, and then this device will count as being in the shed. There we go. But we need some aluminum frames and stuff to finish that, and I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to plan it. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We're doing much better. We've purified a new area. We've got carrot planted. We've got copper wire we got to level two on our coziness. I hope you are still finding this series to be useful and fun, and I hope that you are having fun with this game like I am. I will check you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Take care.